Good morning, guys. I hope you are having a relaxing, calm, peaceful day because over here, things are getting a little bit stressful. It's super exciting because the trusses are getting delivered today after 16 weeks or something, four months of waiting. Um, but there are a lot of logistics, a ton of moving parts. We don't know if they will actually make it up to our house. And Trent is not here. I know man, passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so I can find myself. So basically, instead of stick framing the roof, the way we did in our house, we ordered manufactured trusses. They had to be custom built to fit our garage exactly, and it's basically the entire roof line with a bonus room attached for the upstairs apartment. I'm a little nervous because I just don't know if they will be able to make it up to our property. I'm gonna head down there, meet them at the bottom. Hopefully Trent arrives as soon as I get there or soon after I get there, and we're gonna slowly try to guide the truss guys all the way up to our house without running anyone else off the road as safely and slowly as possible. And hopefully at the end of today, we end up with all of our trusses parked safely here in our driveway. All right, Leo, you ready? Do this, buddy, it's you and me. You and me today. before that we thrive in chaos and it's days like today that make me realize maybe that's not so much of a joke and maybe there uh, there's a little bit of truth behind that um we weren't sure if the trusses would be delivered today or tomorrow so we reserved a forklift starting for today so that we could actually move the trusses off our driveway and place them on the like structure on the roof and install them of course the forklift is actually supposed to be delivered today at 1 p.m 1220 right now and I haven't seen it or any sign of it yet and we just got a phone call from the trust company that they have left their facility and they are heading up our direction they'll be there in about half an hour everything is coming together all at the same time after months of waiting which is really exciting um, it's just chaotic <laughs> All right, I just made it to the bottom of our mountain, parked, and the good news is I beat the truss truck. There's no forklift here. I don't know if that's good or bad news, um, but it seems like I, I got here first. I think a big part of the stress of today comes from not wanting to inconvenience the other people on the road, our neighbors going up and down the canyon. It takes less than half an hour to get from the bottom of our canyon up to our house, but it's windy, it's steep, it's very narrow. Um, the majority of it is an unpaved dirt road, and these trusses are 12 feet wide, which will take up the entire road in many sections. So if we could shut the road down and just have it to ourselves, that would be fine. But if we end up passing anybody along the way, it's going to be uh, complicated. So we're gonna try to be efficient, fast, and very respectful of everybody else on the road and get this done, hopefully, nice and smooth. <laughs> Oh, things are crazy today. What a day. Ow, the door just hit my elbow. <laughs> Our trusses are on the way. Or at least the guy called me, he told me we were on the way. The first thing he said is, you know, I've been in this business for 30 years. Not with this company, but I've been delivering on these trucks, trusses, dropping them off. He's like, I've been up to your area at least twice. Both times we needed a smaller truck. Oh, no. He said, this company doesn't have a smaller truck. <sighs> so they've got the shortest trailer possible. It is a semi. It's not really good to have it coming up on our roads, but I think with a skilled driver and some good spotting and some good planning, I think we can make it happen. Hey, Trent. Yep. Hey, so I have a 10 day forklift for you. I should be dropping it off in the next hour or so. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yep. You bet. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, so when it rains, it pours, right? <laughs> well, it's 12.45, he said he'll be here within the next hour, which is totally fine. 
But the only other issue is that our trusses, they were supposed to be here, you know, they said they were gonna leave around noon and it's 12.45, takes about 45 minutes to get up here. So he should be here basically any minute and just everything's happening at once. It's all crazy. I did have some like grandioso ideas of like, well, if this guy has, you know, a shorter trailer and he can't make some of the corners, maybe I could take the forklift and I can like pick up the back of the trailer and scoot it over oh. so that he can make some of the corners. And maybe that could work, but also the trust company will probably be like, don't touch our trailer with that forklift. Yeah, Cause I would yeah. probably, I would probably mess it up, so. The other thing we were really counting on was for the forklift to get delivered first so that it was already parked in the driveway. So now if the trusses block the driveway, and the forklift is still in the road, I have no idea how we're gonna get the trusses closer to the garage. There's just a bunch of issues that could arise. We're gonna do everything in our power to prevent these issues. I definitely see it. Okay, what's... I am a little nervous. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think we can, I think, I don't know. Oh man, okay. I'm terrified. Get in. Really? No, I have one. a 10,000 pound forklift that's getting delivered in like an hour, so if we can't make it all the way and we have to figure out a place to drop it, I can just pick everything up and take it to the house, but I'd really prefer to not have to do that. So, <laughs> what, what's what we do? I'll follow you up so you guys can stop any traffic when I come around the corner. Yep. It's been a few years since I've been up in here. So okay. All right. I just remember the roads are pretty hopefully, hopefully narrow. It's a little wider now. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. <laughs> going for it basically. Alright, well, let's let this car go. Um, so there's a couple things that have me concerned. Okay. One thing is that like the trusses are not centered on the trailer. Oh. There's like four feet hanging off the right side. Okay. Which That's there's good, some right? tight spots where there's trees on the right side of the road but okay. four feet out like maybe the trusses drag on some trees not a big deal. Um, coming up the canyon right now, we're gonna have to like block the left side of the road. I mean, he can hang off the right side of the road, so. Buckle. I'm just. Woo! A little overwhelmed. This is what uh, building your own house is all about. You know, we are gonna overcome this challenge one curve in the road at a time. Basically, I have my hazards on. I'm driving slow into oncoming traffic so that when they come up, they realize that I'm in the middle of the road and they scoot over and slow down so that when they come up to the truck with the oversized load, they're not like doing 40 miles an hour mm -hmm. trying to shoot this tiny gap between the trailer and the drop off on the edge of the road. Um, <laughs> You'd think our road has very little traffic, which it does compared to any other road, but uh, it's also for some reason very busy right now and we've already passed like 10 cars which is like the most I ever passed in an entire day and I mean we do live in the mountains in the middle of nowhere but this road that we have to take to get like into remote access it services like 800 cabins yeah. so like there's a lot of people that end up funneling down through this area and you know just I don't know what else to say besides like I'm really nervous I'm pretty confident and I really have to pee. <laughs> Ooh. So I'm sure he's got like an eye on the trusses over there, but like on these rocks and stuff. Just don't run our trusses into the rocks, please. Hey, this is See, he just swung it super wide. See, we've got a lot. He knows what he's doing. I mean, he knows what he's doing. We have no idea what we're doing, but we're just like, we're pretending to be the, the truck careful, that drives careful. with the oversized load sign. We're pretending to be that guy right now. Um, he doesn't have an oversized load guy. He just has a flag on the front that says oversized load. Oh boy. I have to go so far over or else he'll just shoot yeah. by me. Yeah. And then if that guy's in the middle of the turn yeah. and that little car goes to go around it, he'll go under the trailer and it'll kill him. I mean, uh, I've seen it done in Fear Factor. No, you haven't. <laughs> yes. No, you haven't. Yes, in one episode of Fear Factor, I remember this because I was like eight or nine years old and they had a semi truck going 60 miles an hour down like an airplane strip and you had to drive a little sedan in circles around the back tires under the trailer. It's an episode of Fear Factor, I swear. Cars don't fit under a semi trailer, <laughs> it's illegal. 
think it was like a sports car. Well, even then. As this semi speeds down the runway, you will have to drive your car under the truck as many times as you can before you run out of road or wipe out. I'm pretty sure he can get to the house. I'm just really concerned that if we make it to the house and we drop the trusses off, he's like not gonna be able to turn around and then he might be stuck because if you go past our house, there's like a hairpin turn yeah. and he can't make that. So he's, uh, he's moving in. My, Eric, welcome home. <laughs> there's a very tight S curve here in the road that we've made it to. I'd say we're about halfway up to our property and things are going well so far. Hopefully we don't pass anybody on this S curve because it's really tight to begin with. See if he comes all the way out here like this. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, so that S curve back there, that's one of the spots that's been keeping me up at night lately. So we made it through that without a hitch. Now, there's maybe two more spots. There's maybe two more spots. <laughs> and then there's delivering the load at our house and then there's getting him out of here in one piece. I think we got this. <laughs> you keep saying that like you're convincing yourself. I'm, I am convincing myself. I'm pretty <laughs> confident, but you know, I'm also a little nervous. Oh yeah. Dude, he's making these roads look massive. Yeah, he's doing great. He's such a, he is accomplished. He's like, I've been in the industry for 30 years. I'm like, good, I've barely been alive for 35, <laughs> so. He's like, no problem. This corner right here, it's gonna be the problem. You want to drive it? Huh? Do you want us you to take you? And you can look. Nobody will probably take that. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should be able to do everything coming up right here. The only uh, issue would be turning you around. I don't think isn't going to happen. We'll take I'll, you out. I'll show yeah. you after. Yeah. There's there's two options, and I think both of them would work. So that's why right here. You can make that. Just kind of like it should move all over. I can be doing five miles an hour and it feels like I'm doing about $50 over. <laughs> it's just bouncing me everywhere. It's yeah, right once here. you get me committed up this, I ain't turning back down. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. there's no backing down there. No, <laughs> no, that's what I was just going to say. Once I get committed up this, it's not or all. Yeah. The production manager called and said, uh, well, I have a 30 foot trailer. He's like, but he's like, it's been sitting for six months. And I was like, yeah, well. Let's use that one. I mean, and if you mess up the driveway backing it up there, I don't care about that. I don't think I'm gonna get up that high. Okay. So? We're, we might have to, they're gonna probably end up down here in the bottom of the guy. Okay. As long if as we, I can get the forklift if, around it, that's all well, I don't care think about. you will, you're gonna have to pick it. Because what we'll have to do, because this trailer does not lift. Okay. Mm -hmm. it does it have rollers? On, yeah, it okay. has rollers, but it, it either got to be you pulling it out. a downhill side. But if I've had situations where we've been up on similar trailers as this one, yeah. and we've had to tie 30 foot chains together, mm -hmm. straps together, walk up the hill and tie around a tree and then just pull out and then they end up okay. clear down. But okay. mm -hmm. well, I think I can get this. Days like this make me especially grateful for the little moments I've been taking out of my day to feel more grounded and take intentional care of myself. I'm just finishing up a little light yoga practice and I've been trying really hard to kind of get back into a routine of doing things in a little bit of a more healthy, mindful way. I feel like especially as a new mom, things in my life feel a little chaotic and my schedule feels a little unpredictable. And that's why when Noom reached out and asked if we wanted to partner with them, I jumped at the opportunity. Noom has some amazing resources and tips and tricks for not just dieting and uh, losing weight, which is really only one facet of living a healthier life, but also for mindfulness to improve your self-awareness and recipes that you can use to eat a little bit healthier. I've already seen an impact on my energy levels and sleep habits thanks to Noom's tactics for stress 
relief. With Noom, it's really about behavior change over time and ways to permanently incorporate some sustainable changes into your life that will have lasting results instead of just like a short-term weight loss program. Their approach is more holistic. It's more of an entire lifestyle shift and it really only takes a couple minutes out of every single day, but it helps keep you accountable because there is no overnight solution to being healthier or to losing weight. You really have to put in that work and Noom makes it easy for you to do that. If you wanna check out Noom, I've been using them for the last month or so and I have been loving the process. You can click the link in our description below or go to noom.com slash trentonally. You can take their free survey. It customizes an entire tailored approach for exactly whatever it is you are looking for in your life. I hope you enjoy it. Check them out. Thanks again to Noom for sponsoring today's video. Well, we just gave Eric, our amazing driver, a little tour of our road to make sure that he could anticipate the types of curves that were up ahead and uh, make sure his trailer was gonna fit. He's pretty confident, Trent's pretty confident. We're gonna take it slow. I think we got this. I'm pretty confident. The only issue that I have is that he said, oh, I'm not going to be able to make it up your driveway. Yes, you are, Eric. Yes, you are. Like, I, he's got to be able to make it up the driveway. He, I think he thinks the back of his trailer is a little bit lower than it actually is, but we're going to find out when we get there if he can make it up the, the driveway. If he can't make it all the way up, he's going to drop the trusses in the bottom of the driveway <laughs> and make a big mess for us. Um, Either hopefully, way. hopefully he can make it up to the top and they drop it all right there in front of the garage, right where it needs to be. That would be best case scenario. Either way, it sounds like we will have trusses in our driveway. Whether they're in an easy to access spot or not, that's to be determined. Ooh. This is a, a hairpin, very steep turn coming up. If he can clear this, then we're we're in the clear for the rest of the drive, but this is gonna be a tough one. Swing her wide. Swing her wider than that, Eric. Ooh, man! He's doing great. Eric's the man. It did just create a giant cloud of dust right it's there. All right. So. Give her. Just don't hit this tree. Yeah. Woo! We got the truck in the driveway. Now we just have to figure out how to get the trusses off of the truck. This doesn't have a tilting trailer. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. You can't just like release all the trusses at you once. Want to try to pull forward and get the trailer over here more. Yeah, we we can try that. Because if you could drop them back to... here, this would be perfect. I don't know if we're going to get back there. I gotta. Yeah, this is all pretty loose. Yeah. The center of the driveway is like extremely compacted for two years. So like as long as you stay in the middle, you should be able to maintain to track. Figure out a, a nice little tie down spot. Okay. I mean, we could. Uh, if we get back here, what we could. I got stuff we could hook to one of these trees. Okay. If we can get back here and then. So they come back in here. But first, let's get me over okay. and back here. Cool. cool. Come, all you young rounders. And a story I'll tell. Of the promise of heaven. In the warning of hell I Take heed where you ramble or Too soon you will go well, How much do you think all of these trusses weigh? Oh, I don't know. They're like 250 pounds each, so there's probably A couple thousand? Maybe 3,000 pounds of wood here And normally a trailer would just tip and these would slide off But they're on rollers, it doesn't tip 
So what's the game plan here? We're gonna push it. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you serious? He's gotta figure out how to unlock the roller. Oh. Whoa! I think he's joking, and they're gonna use straps or something. But we're about to find out. Oh my God! You're serious. And that thing in there is going to be okay? That Let's stack? Open, don't fall the rest of the way down in. We're at that block. Can you pull it out? No, I think it's good. It's held up. All right, let me try to jerk and see if we can. It's not oh bad. And then we're going to have to figure out how to tie them off. Keep them off. If you fast enough, not that whole corner is going to drop down. Okay. Further than what it is. I'm going to shove this one in there too. All right, Trent, get out of the way. Yeah. I see it, I see it. That's You're baby. strong, get out of there. Leverage. Let's go. Stay with me. We got this. All right, you're clear. Go for it, Eric. Don't stand there, don't stand there. Woo! Good job. Heck yes. You did it. Redneck ingenuity at its finest. <laughs> Wallace victory. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Now you guys just work starts. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Now we're busy until winter. Well, that was a lovely success. The trusses have been delivered beautifully, exactly where we wanted them, up high on our driveway. Terry is out of the way. Uh, the truck that Eric is driving was able to escape easily and now we are going to lead him out of here because it's a very long trailer and there are some hairpin turns. We're going out a different way than we came in. We want to make sure he gets out safely and our forklift is now waiting at the bottom. Thanks Eric. You rock. All right, well, Eric got the trusses to the house. We got the trusses dropped off in the driveway right where they need to be. We got Terry moved. Now, I just got to drive this giant forklift up to the house and uh, let's just say we're about five miles away and that thing's probably gonna go about five miles an hour. Is that your foot? Yeah. Leo is up from his nap. We are gonna drive nice and slow behind Trent, get everything back to the house in one piece, call it a day. It's not my first time driving a forklift, um, but I haven't driven one that's this actual size or anything like this before. I don't know how fast it goes. I'm assuming uh, it goes pretty slow. And I just, these things are always like so ran through. Like this thing has just been so beat up and destroyed. Anyways, let's get into this. Oh, it's a thousand degrees in here. Ooh, it has a really, it has an air seat air shock seat. Okay. It's brutally hot in here. Fire it up. Got our seat belt on. Bring our forks all the way in. Let's put her in drive. How do we put her in drive? I'd like to drive, please. Get it up to six or seven miles. 
miles an hour for about 10 seconds. I'm jamming out to uh, some 70s music and I'm just trying to have a good time. We're gonna be here a while. entire time and yes we were five miles away when we started so we're on the pace to do probably an hour and 50 minutes hour and 45 minutes and uh, it's been an hour so a little over halfway the problem is that we're climbing a mountain basically the entire time and anytime this thing goes uphill it like takes all of the momentum away and then the gears can't like climb and gain any speed so when I start to go downhill a little bit, I can pick up a little bit of speed to about seven or maybe eight miles an hour if I'm lucky. I just really wish they could have delivered this closer to our house, but they were in a massive semi and it just wasn't in the cards. But anyway, I'm just gonna truck on. Having a great day. All right. We're getting there, we're getting there. Crazy about Elvis, loves horses, that would have been too, and I'm free! Oh my gosh, we finally... And I do have to say that I'm really excited that everything today was basically a success. We got the forklift up here. We got the trusses up here. I found out that the trusses are spaced 24 inches on center instead of 16 inches on center, which means there's like, you know, two thirds as many trusses as we thought, which is awesome because that means less work, less being up there all crazy. And I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited that tomorrow we get to put our tool belts on and like just start knocking it out, start framing again. You guys, so much happened in this video. I'm just going through and editing it right now for it to come out tomorrow morning. And this is actually only day one. There was another full day of, of filming and so much that happened that honestly, this would be uh, a feature film movie, a, a movie marathon if we posted the entire thing. So I think we're actually gonna split it up into two videos. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's gonna be more in store. The big action is gonna happen on Friday. <laughs> So we wanted to thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Noom for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.